It's a late breakfast, no? Yeah, pastel de nata. by car from Lisbon and all the way to Algarve and Tavira. Yeah. yeah. This is my fifth time here and the second time with the family. So I know my way around a little bit. And the, all the very nice spots that we will show you. Yeah. Our Airbnb was overlooking the Parque Eduardo, so we started the day with panoramic views of the city from the observation deck. Avenida de la Libertade is the backbone of the city and is lined with many beautiful buildings. We love to explore the small side streets, even if some of them require a bit of exercise when traveling with the stroller. A unique building we discovered in our last trip to Lisbon is Casa do Alentejo, located in a beautiful Moorish palace. We discovered this little square just off Avenida de la Libertade. It is the perfect place to relax and listen to live music. Our favorite square of all is Largo do Carmo. It perfectly encapsulates Lisbon's vibe. There are trees, beautiful buildings, a fountain and a great tapas restaurant. We visit it every time we were in Lisbon. Ah, look, another traditional tram. It's great to, to go around Lisbon in one of these. They go all the small streets where the modern trams cannot go. We opted for tram number 12 as it was less busy than the well-known tram number 28. It makes a 25-minute loop from Plaza Martin Moniz and passes close to the popular Santa Luisa viewpoint. Next, we took Elevador da Gloria from Plaza Restauradores and reached the São Pedro de Alcantara viewpoint, offering sweeping views from the Parque Eduardo all the way to the Tagus River. You can see the castle in the distance. Last time we were here, we were watching the panoramic view from the castle. This was our first time to try a bifana, a Portuguese sandwich of soft bread and steamed pork. Add mustard and you have the perfect snack on the go. Portuguese custard tarts are addictive. We could not miss an opportunity to try one at Mantegaria. How is it? You have to put cinnamon on it. I will. On the next one. The original pastel de nata or custard tart was sold here at Pastéis de Belém, a 35-minute tram ride outside the city center. We will show you this essential Lisbon institution in a future video. We ended our first day of sightseeing in Plaza do Comercio, the former gateway to Lisbon. We will share more things to do, see and eat in the city in our next video. See you there!